Hi! <laughs> um, welcome to Liv's Tea Corner. I don't actually have tea today, but um, it's here in spirit. Over in the organizers. <laughs> but um, welcome to today's video. I hope you guys are doing amazing. I am starting this new series on my channel where we sit on my bed and look out at the New York City skyline and just reflect on some things on my mind. Each episode will have like a different general topic where I will talk about various things. Today I want to talk about creativity and inspiration, but yeah, I'm really excited for this series. Um, I mean, it kind of plays into the topic of like creative stuff and inspiration. I've been really inspired recently. I woke up today so inspired and I'm just creating so much at the moment. I am restarting my podcast or starting it up again. I stopped in February just because I was quarantined and couldn't meet new people and it was really hard to do the um, kind of interactive interview stuff that I wanted to do when I wasn't meeting new people, I wasn't surrounded by creative people, but now that I'm here at art school, there are just so many amazing, passionate, creative people here that like, I want to hear their stories and share their stories with you guys, because I feel like if I was younger and had had a platform like this available to me where I could hear other people's stories, I feel like that would have inspired me so much more. and. I just would love to put something like that out into the world, so I'm so excited for that. I have like six guests lined up and I'm gonna find so many more after, but I feel like that's a good number for now, um, just because I have to film all of those or record all of those. Um, I am literally planning to do it on my floor <laughs> because what I have one chair <laughs> and a bed, where else am I gonna put it? But I am really excited and looking forward to that. And then on top of that, YouTube creation. I've been doing so many YouTube things. I literally have content lined up until December. I am literally editing a video right now and then like I was like, oh, I want to talk about this. <laughs> but I don't know. Um, it's amazing to be in a place surrounded by creative people and creativity because like I'm just doing so many things all the time and like it's things I love. It's not like it's mindless like doing a science worksheet like about a scientific topic I'm not passionate about or doing just like filler work that like isn't getting me towards and well it was in some way getting me towards like this position but it wasn't like directly benefiting me and now I'm in a place where like I just animated for the past like four hours in a class like I've just been doing art all day and every day and even like my academic courses that I'm going to take have ties to art and creativity because that's something that's valued here. And then just being surrounded by so many creative people, like that really, really fuels my creativity because like on my podcast, I love to have creative people on my podcast. And it's just been so, so beautiful to be in a space like this. And I've been painting a lot more. I'm working on like four paintings right now and I would love to document working on a couple of those at some point but I do paint at really weird times and it's on my floor um <laughs> there's a lot of floor content or just activities living in a dorm because the room is tiny and I have no other space to do things like I have my side of the room and that's it and you just have to learn how to like squeeze things in um I do miss painting large scale a lot but it's just so amazing and creativity is something that is constantly around me and constantly floating through my brain like I am an absolutely insanely creative person like I get so many art ideas a day and a lot of those I lose because I have so many in a day and I can't get them out all the time like literally I left class today to go write a poem <laughs> Like, I came back, but I left to go sit in the bathroom and write a poem for, like, ten minutes. Um, like, it's just such an amazing experience, and I've also had to learn how to, like, make sure I don't burn out, because that's something I have practiced for, like, forever. I am very good at making sure I have a balance and making sure that, like, 
I am not burning myself out on my creative pursuits and I have before I've stopped streaming for so long I stopped podcasting but that was because I knew I needed to take a step back in order to fulfill myself and to take care of myself like creating those boundaries even with things I love to make sure that I am sustaining myself and not wearing myself too thin and just making sure I am taking care of myself because I think creativity is a very vulnerable thing and you need to have a balance of taking care of yourself and knowing yourself and nurturing yourself so that your creative pursuits can thrive um because creativity is a very tiring thing in a lot of ways and you just have to make sure to take care of yourself in order to fulfill and maintain your creativity and i think one of my favorite things and one of the most amazing things about doing so many different things is that if i do burn out on one or need a break from one i have another thing to pour my creativity into because even if my creativity is not feeling aligned with something in that moment like painting or whatever I can go to something else because I constantly have creative energy, it just doesn't sometimes feel fulfilled or I don't feel fulfilled by doing something in that moment and so having things to switch to is just such a cool thing and I don't know, like things are aligning so beautifully with my creativity and I mean they always have been because I'm literally in art school, um, but just especially recently creating stuff has just been so fulfilling especially youtube i've been so so inspired um and also like i feel like i am really building that foundation of not feeling um defeated when i don't get an external reward from my creativity like my youtube video that i put up a couple like actually this week did not do well but i was so happy with the way it came out and happy with like what it is that I don't feel that hurt by it of course it is a little discouraging to like put your heart and soul into something and and not be received um but also that is the mathematical side of producing art because it's going into an algorithm that didn't pick it up and that is not my fault and that is not other people's fault that care about me like it is math I guess and it is just chance and that's okay and just still being sure within myself even if something doesn't do well is something I have tried really hard to build up and is going really well um obviously there are some weeks it hits me harder than others but like I'm just gonna keep going <laughs> um but yeah I have been so creative and passionate lately that I've had to make sure I give myself breaks even when I don't want to so that I can like maintain this like making myself stop working at six or seven, like dinner time and then you're done. You get to go play video games and paint. Cause paint, I don't consider work. Um, I will do that whenever, but like go eat dinner, paint, read, play Stardew, play video games, watch streams, just do something like that isn't specifically for producing for other people, I guess, because I can still create for myself on that time off which is established for me but like not for other people unless I don't know because I'm such a work driven person and like my work is something that I love so much that like I am happy to do it whenever I can but also making sure I'm not wearing myself too thin is super important I don't know it's hard to kind of put into words my boundaries and like what I do to maintain it because I it changes honestly depending on my creativity depending on my time depending how I'm doing physically um like there are just so many factors but making sure I maintain that balance and just thrive like I'm just so happy right now and everything feels so balanced within my creativity and that's such an amazing feeling I've started streaming again I feel like my attitude towards streaming has finally shifted in a positive way for a while it wasn't um which I do want to talk about in a different qu corner video because I have like an entire topic I want to talk about within that but I finally feel fulfilled by it again which is great so I've been doing that a little bit more um I'm doing some design work at the moment for um a family member and that is just so exciting I'm really really excited for that I want to teach myself how to use Adobe Illustrator um I think I'm gonna do that soon because I feel like that's a tool I need to know because um, I'm a graphic design major and even though I'm not doing graphic design specific work 
this year in classes. I feel like that's something I should, probably should know. Um, but yeah, no, I just feel really good right now and I wanted to share some of the creative things I'm feeling right now. I am working on a bunch of paintings right now. I am working on one for class and then I have one of the Met, which I've shown in a video previously, actually this week's video. I have one of Central Park I took and I'm working on that. I might work on that tonight. I have one from after the Met. We went to get food and I got this cool photo and I have a bunch of others I wanna make. I wanna start a series of figure paintings Kind of like flow, I'll put an image of flow up here and expanding upon that with different color schemes and poses and attitudes behind it is something I really want to do. So I'm excited for that. Um, but yeah, I'm finally like inspired by landscapes again. I guess inspired is not the right word because I've always been inspired by, inspired by, expired, <laughs> inspired by landscapes. But um, during COVID, I've talked about this in some videos, but like during my quarantine, I couldn't go out and get the photos I needed to, and get the inspiration I needed from external sources so I went internal and now that I have all of these external things around me I can internalize them and then put them on a canvas um, so it is more realistic but it still has emotional and mental associations with like feelings which is important to me instead of just doing like photo realism and I finally can do that again because I'm going out <laughs> all the time I'm still obviously being safe but I can pursue that in a way I wasn't able to before and that has just been really inspiring and I'm really excited to get back into my realistic work and I'm excited to see where it goes. Yeah, I have a lot of painting ideas right now but not enough time. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. It's just been a really good time. I'm gonna check my notebook to see if I have any other ideas that I wanted to talk about. Um, I do want to do a journal tour of just like all of the millions of notebooks I have because I have a lot and for some reason I feel like that would be a fun video. I don't even care if people care. I just like want to share that because I think that's cool. Um, I have a lot of notebooks and journals and random sketchbooks and things and I think that would be cool to delve into. But yeah, no, I'm just so inspired and excited to see like where this series goes and where all my other YouTube videos go because I'm really experimenting with different types of content right now, which is amazing um, and just... I feel really free and really passionate and really happy right now. So, yeah. Yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me on today's first ever Lives Tea Corner. I hope that you guys enjoyed this and it brought you guys some sort of joy or whatever. Um, I hope it served you in some way and I'm really excited to continue this series. I hope that you enjoyed. Feel free to get like ask questions in the comments or ask for whatever. I like. I want to have a specific topic every episode, but also doing questions and answers and advice and whatever. Like, I really want to push the limits of whatever this could be, and I'm very excited to see where this goes. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing well. Make sure to check out all my other stuff. It would mean the world to me, and make sure to take care of yourselves, homies, and I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye!